Peace and love. I hope this message finds you with the urgency and care that you need in order for you to make an informed decision about your destiny and your life. Um, Spirit said it's time for you to leave. It's time for you to divorce your family and to divorce your familiarity and your comfort zone. And this is because as we are continuing to ascend, you have to be freed, liberated from those that think they know you and your obligations to suffice that insecurity of theirs. Some of you have been, you know, really through the ringer for the past six to eight months and you have been doing your shadow work. You have been doing your inner healing. You've been doing all the undigging, unearthing to find out who you are, to really live in a pure state of being for yourself and not necessarily just to break family curses, but you are one that is chosen to break generational patterns to be the disruptor in your bloodline and because of that you've had so many spiritual attacks you've had emotional battles that you have been going through that you have not been telling others about and you've been in sort of a mental psychosis literally mental health alert because you have been trying to eradicate yourself free yourself from certain chains that belong exclusively to your bloodline and the skeletons that lie in you all's closet. I want to let you know that Spirit said if you do not take heed to this message, not only will you find yourself ensnared and lured back into the cycles that you just broke, like 2024, you just broke all of them and <laughs> you find yourself in rest and recovery. Not only will you find yourself back in that loop, but you will also find yourself unable to escape it ever again in his lifetime that's how detrimental it is for you to leave for for you to depart what you we know that a prophet is never fully embraced welcomed celebrated in their own homeland their country their family right their cycles their communities because they are the ones that have this mysterious air the enlightened ones those that can look at the neutrality in life and take a righteous approach to things because of those reasons and i can guarantee that you have been the black sheep of not only your family but your community i can almost guarantee that your intimate relationships have been wrecked over the past two to three years and you find yourself in a space of loving and appreciating isol isolation but also wanting to have connection and connectivity with those that can understand you right and so alignment is coming to you and you finding your soul tribe and them embracing you and feeding your soul nourishing your soul is coming to you i hear the spirit saying right now that let me read something for you. This is Genesis 12 and 1. Now the Lord has said unto Abram, before his name was changed, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show you. This speaks to the importance of how much you need to get away right now. Now for you, that might look like just not speaking to anyone. It might look like you changing your phone number. It might look like you leaving the country or at least your state. You have to depart. This it is so, it, it is so imperative. It is very urgent, right? That you leave people that are burdening you because you've been the strong friend, you've been the balancing beam. You're you're always the one that people call on, whether it's for financial resources or for emotional resource, right? People want to lean on you. They want to absorb you. They want to siphon your energy. They don't want to pour back into you. They don't even want to leave an offering of gratitude to you. All of that energetically starts to affect your destiny. And the spirit realm right now is broadening in such a way that honestly, the divine is calling on those that have been hidden, those that have been seen in plain sight and yet invisible at the same time, those that have been quiet, those that have been observational to life and have been misunderstood for their characteristics, those that have been... Uh, protectors of those that need to be defended you are being called to a higher level society needs you on a grander level and when you are connected to people and fulfilling responsibilities of uh 
covert information and always being there for them, you are starting to tap into your divinity and put on hold the things that you were created to do. Now, I don't know the capacity for which you were to serve and in which ways you ought to, you know, be established here. That's your thing. But the message is for you to leave. The message is for you to go. Not just your family, those that you have been in relationship with, those with whom you have made agreements to continue to go and flow, they have been a blockage in your destiny. And that obstacle that you keep on trying to avoid because you don't want to further be alone, you don't want to be the ship without the sail, it's hurting you. You're sinking. I just want to let you know. But also Spirit is telling me right now that you have had a hope in your heart for some sort of family presence and identity right and all of that and this freedom that you want to experience this independent life of just let me do all the things that I know I can do if I could just be free to do them it's right around the corner it's right here you just have to change lanes and it has only been just a glimmer a glimmer of hope right but that has been just a shadow a preface of what is to come for you I know that it is a very difficult thing for you to leave what you've known, to leave the people that you've known, even when it's been hurting you. Listen, I just lost my, my Nana three months ago, and I had to end uh, a situation with somebody that I was deeply in love with. I am literally all by myself. The things that I told you you should probably do, I'm doing them now. I changed my number. There are more nights that I cry than I find myself rejoicing. And I find myself really puzzled by what's happening. But even in me being perplexed, I can feel my spirit regenerating. I'm not always going to other people for counsel. My ori, my head, my soul, my spirit is now open for the spirit realm to communicate with me. My dreams are clearer. I'm writing again. My creativity is coming back. My vessel is being restored. And while it's lonely, it's also promising because I'm being obedient because I refuse to be entrapped and ensnared in death cycles for more generations than I can count and I don't want that for myself so I'm letting you know this was long right and there are many things that I could have said to you but only you know how dire it is for you to break free only you know how much people have put you through what they've put you through and what you cannot take anymore. And let me tell you something. I don't want you to die because of people's ignorance of who you are. I don't want you to catch a case. And it's, it sounds funny, but I truly don't want you to find yourself locked in another prison because you couldn't get out this imprisonment. So when you are asking yourself, what more can you do? And the spirit is asking of you, what more can you trust them with? The only thing that you have left is your destiny. And it is that important that you get into alignment. Leave who you need to leave. Do not give them any long descriptive reasons as to why you are being called higher. You are chosen. You have been elected for a time that's to come. And I hate to sound churchy, but really you have been made for this very moment that, that is at hand. And baby, you are responsible and you are going to be held accountable to the new agreements that you make in your life because it is that serious. And you have spent nights up looking up in the stars and wondering things and you read books and you're mystic and you're mystical and you're powerful and you're awesome. And don't, there isn't a person attached to you that knows the level of strength that you are and they refuse to respect it but spirit is telling you it's time to leave them and god spirit your ancestors your angels whatever you believe in to the degree of spirit is going to show you what you need to know and which direction you need to go step by step and thought by thought i pray that you choose your destiny over anything else and make this life worth the reason why you suffered I love you. Peace be with you. And I'll check you next time.